This beautiful home built around 1950s was owned by a woman who had a huge love and passion for dogs, especially Yorkies, and she owned a couple. She went to many shows and possibly trained dogs and worked at events while living in this home until she retired and grew old, having to eventually live on the main floor of the house. It was renovated to make her more comfortable. Sitting abandoned since 1996, this house was a beautiful time capsule until around five years ago. Now it's decayed, disorganized, but still beautiful. What's going on, Explorers? Brandon Abandoned, 6'4", Exploring with Rebecca Stippen. I'm at an awesome spot for you guys here. This house was abandoned in around 1996. There was some evidence from 2002, but that could have been squatters, that could have been people that came to party. So we're around the 2000 area. This house looks like it was owned by a lady and her dog, maybe a couple dogs, but she got to the point where she was elderly, she was living on the main floor, and then the house was sitting here abandoned. I heard it was a time capsule up until maybe two, three years ago. It looks a little bit rougher than that, like maybe it was closer to 10 years ago it was a time capsule. But this house is really cool, lots of stuff left behind. Make sure to watch your feet, stay safe, and let's get exploring. So this is my best guess at the front door, the front entrance area here, by the looks of things. Careful for the glass, it seems to be most things broken. This place looks like it's been boarded up recently. It's fresh plywood, but uh, the land's also been cleared. So I'm guessing it might just be getting demolished sometime soon. So lucky we got here. A little makeshift shelf up there. But this house, it's very homely. It's in the country. So it has a very country feel to it. Mason jars. Always makes you feel like you're out in the, out in the country. Canadian mason. Made in Canada. A lot of times those will have crown caps People seem to like to collect them to make things, so you won't find many of the caps with them. And a bunch of garbage. I'm pretty sure this is squatter garbage. Got quite a good feeling about that. Very high ceilings. And this is probably an add-on, this area, since there's this window here. That would make sense. All smashed out. Nice old folding chair. Someone was trying to make some sort of a tea. Real high cupboards. That's neat, with all the hooks. Now we'll do a little slow look along. Some sort of a cushion that I'm stepping on here. So she liked to sew. That's a whole lot of sewing needles. That I guess is a fruit. Looks like it could be an animal. I got one lonely cup. Oh, no. A couple more porcelain mugs. No. Too bad that's broken. Nice deep chip and dip. Little tray, little plate. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. This cushion here is what I was stepping on. 
making things feel quite gross under the feet. <laughs> That's fake brick wallpaper. Look at that wallpaper underneath it. That's old school. That's the type of wallpaper I like to see. And with this area here, I'm guessing they had a stove, a wood stove that's no longer around. Oh, I thought this was gonna be completely empty. Sorry, I'm using my opposite hand here. Oh, no. Oof. It almost looked like that was moving. Thing is too, when they've been around this long, the fridge is this type of a condition. Doesn't smell bad anymore. Doesn't smell bad, just looks bad. Old school Eureka. Is there anything else going on? No box. That's cool. When it's that brownish color, you know, 70s, maybe even earlier. Look at the knob on it. Hmm. All right, close to the door. The kitchen. Now it's a lot colder inside this house than it was outside. As you noticed, the flamingo's back. We're not wearing jackets anymore. Broader lamp. All right, so <clears throat> I can hear, I'm here with static spaces. Check them out. But I can start to hear him, so I'm going to lower my voice because I know I'm going to be all over his video. And we don't want to do that. That's old school. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it. But <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So. I just want to point out, everybody, did you see that door that leads to the back? This is what makes me think the lady was living here till she was quite elderly when there's a bed on the main floor. It's normally because you're unable to make it upstairs. Look at that. I love the detail they used to have. Now they're just plain flat white. Look at that. Amazing. Moving forward, always. Oh, that's still frozen. But you'll notice that there's a few, a few things trying to catch water. I'm not sure how long those have been here, but you start to wonder, would that have been a squatter that was here? Is that the person who might own the house still? But you look at the condition of it, you wonder, like, how long have those buckets been there? Has it just been overflowing and overflowing and overflowing, filling up, overflowing? An old heater, heater fan, chandelier. A couple different DVD players, coat hangers. I like this. Bed still on a recliner. There must have been a TV here. Definitely. And now this lady, she had Yorkies. Is what it appears by the pictures. A weird little medicine bottle. And I guess since they're Yorkies, would she have been lifting them up and keeping them in this cage? Because that confuses me a wee bit. Why? Why is there a floating cage? 
Not, you know, you'd put a dog on that. I don't think you'd keep a child <laughs> in this cage, but I don't know. This is the one book that says the 2002, but everything else says 96. I love when we see different color hot water bottles because in my head and all the ones I've ever seen, they've always just been red. So when you see these, like an aqua blue or green, I think we've seen a pink one or a yellow one, sorry. They just, they stick out to me. I like seeing that they don't make them like they used to. And that's the same with everything. Yeah, see, it's even a little makeshift shower. So when she couldn't make it upstairs, she was still able to, to stay bathed. Very, very awesome. Why somebody took the sink and everything? I don't know. Or <laughs> the cupboard the sink was on. I'm redoing the basement at my parents' house for them. I just bought a new sink. A hundred dollars, eh? You can't find them for any cheaper. The 24 by 24 ones, that is. Let's all down here. That's cool. I love little things like that. Del Tor. Australia. But that looks quite old. That's cool. Del Tor. Got some stuff in the toilet. Polygrip. Somebody didn't want to lose their teeth. A power cord here hooked up for something. And a, a bug catcher. Yeah, that's interesting. Why is this cage in the air? You don't want to have to lift up your dog and put him in there every time. I laughed. I laughed at static because he came in here with just his phone and he walked over all this stuff. And I told him he didn't have to and to not do it again. And here I am gonna pull a static and walk over it. see a pink Coleman and look at that they don't put cool stickers like that on things anymore <laughs> that's actually really really cool a 70s Coleman oh all right so everybody I was wrong I think maybe this is gonna be the front door area is that for Remembrance Day bit of and the bug thing again so I, I definitely think like for sure there was a squatter here for a while a 
peek at everything slowly for you guys. We got the couch. Couch and the chair, they match. It'd look a lot cooler if it didn't have ceiling gunk on it for years and years and years. Happy New Year's. It's got the nice beautiful the wood trim, big open door. TNA. See, and this was built afterwards too. So they definitely did a lot of work down here to make to make the lady comfortable. And that's amazing. That's what you gotta do. We gotta take care of our elders. That's what we're here for. That's what we're born for. So when we get to that certain age, and so do they, we get to look out for them. to do my walk around but I'm not going over that stuff again so let's go from here right upstairs so I noticed we're missing a few people who went upstairs without me <laughs> this again is just a little tiny Maybe two foot, but it works. It works with the stairs. I think I made fun of them being really small before, but it works. <laughs> and again, they don't make staircases like this anymore. All right. A whole bunch of books. Books and magazines. A lot of cat books. Even even big cats. Practical cookery. You don't see the word cookery much anymore. That's cool. The American Kennel Club Incorporated. See, that's August 13th, 31st, 1991. Lockport, New York. Very neat. Birds and cats. And earth science, that's cool. Earth science, I'd read that one. So let's start left and go right. So I'll show you that, look at this. The ceiling here, you can see right through to the outside. Beautiful sunny day. I wish I could feel that, that heat right now. Tarp on the door, that's squatter stuff. I think we can get into that room from that door instead of having to climb over all this different stuff. But again, they were trying to keep it safe. At one point, they were trying to tend to catch the water. Check out this old school. I guess it's a bed, right? It's got the bed bottom. You wouldn't have a couch that's that wide. So this is just an own little personal bed. Like heavy duty. I'm surprised that hasn't gone through the floor. That's serious. I hope you guys can see it with all the junk behind it. Very cool. 
Now, I don't want to go too far. I don't want to mess up the floor or get water anywhere. If I start knocking things over, it might get static wet downstairs. Plus, at a certain point, you don't want to risk walking on a floor that's been decaying for 20 plus years with buckets of water on top with no ceiling above it. <laughs> you got to know your limits. You got to know how to stay safe so that we can continue to do this for a long, long time. And too bad we don't get to open this nice door. Somebody decided just to, to kick it open. There it is right there. And like a lot of these bags, I'm not opening them because they're covered in stuff. But like this one, it's open a bit. Like it's, it's fabrics and whatever in the world that is. Probably a dehumidifier or a humidifier. So it's not all garbage. Lots of it's actual items. The wallpaper coming down the ceiling again. Got a bunch of pictures here. Well, picture frames. Another one of those cloth seats, like a director's chair. <laughs> like that's gonna end up going through the floor really soon. No doubt about that. The rec ball. This is a nice office here. Sorry, I just seen that. I wasn't sure what it was, if it was a book or a magazine. Hunter by ear. Another old typewriter. Now, I'm not sure if that's the lady here. Because sometimes those come with pictures of people in them. So that I'm not sure of. But this here. I'm assuming this is the lovely lady and her puppy. And lots of pictures of puppies. So I'm guessing perhaps she's the one that lived here. Got elderly, had to stay downstairs. And had her little Yorkie lifted up and put into the cage every night. People take care of their Yorkies. I could definitely see that being the case. One more look for you. I really like that chair. And I really like that milk crate. Just because milk crates come in handy. When you got a ton of work junk, they they very much come in handy. All right. I like the chair still set up. I don't want to leave this room, but we must. Let's go this way. Just a little bit. Ooh. We've got a red milk crate and an extra large one. I ain't never seen them before. Too bad all the pictures are gone. Out of the frames. That would have been neat to see. More books and tins, clothes. I'm not even sure what that is rolled up under there. But I want to go through the floor. So it's just more garbage bags that were just being protected. What is that? Don't worry, I've got hand sanitizer. That's serious. 
made in the middle. So that's that other room, you guys remember. And here, I'm gonna do this for you. This is the attic. If anybody grabs my camera, I'm coming up there. Okay. I'll check that afterwards and see if there was anything crazy up there. That's weird, your turn, honey. Peace, Russia. Boy who, boy who likes girl, maybe? <laughs> Let's hope, anyway. Okay. Pretty cool. The uh, the wooden toilet seat. It's a little bit nicer than just plastic. And we've got a serious hole here. For what reason, I don't know. It looks like somebody did it on purpose. Are you guys seeing these cats? <laughs> That's really cool. I don't see those being from the 60s, but... They're fun. Look at that, even a heart in the shower. But what's weird is the top part of the shower is wood. We've got the little bit of plastic, I think, here, yeah, possibly. No, that's not even, that's wood. So it's all wood, they just painted it with, I guess a water paint. Like, look how old school that is. Mr. Static. Did you see the shower that was built downstairs? Yeah. Uh... So they definitely did a lot of work down there for, for the elderly lady. So it's weird. That was the only bathroom down there, wasn't it? Yep. One second here. Yeah. All right. So I'm not totally sure how much I showed you of this. Beautiful wooden knob. <laughs> but we're going to take one more little peek because I've never seen that before. And like that was to turn the water off, on and off. So how old was this house? When was it built that it's got wood in a wooden faucet? Okay. Now we're noticing... There's a couple, a couple uh, sewing machines. And then in this room, there's a whole bunch of fabrics and it seems like the lady was sewing for a living. I just gotta show you that bag. I never seen that. I thought it was just chopped up sawdust somebody put in a bag, but it's an actual branded litter. And see, there's the precious Yorkie there. I'm surprised it doesn't have the name on it, on everyone. So that we know. See, and again here, I don't know. I don't think these are anything to do with the people that lived here. Because it's still got the collection. That's just a background. I think. Can't say for sure. But I don't want to tell you that it's, it's the lady. Look at that old sh like trolley cart. This piece right here. The old school wheels on it. No. I'm not going to touch too much here because a lot of it's glass and a lot of it's broken. But like that's amazing. That's Stonehenge. This one shelf here has got actual carved wood going through it. See on both sides. See, stuff like that, like they don't make it no more. People come through here not knowing, smashing it up and just ruining history. 
horrible. No, this is going to be your workroom here. And these have these have me confused. There's an abandoned gas station down the street. So I wonder if they were taken from there and brought in here. So we see a lot of just big frames like this, right? I think maybe she was, uh, she crocheted, she stitched. I think maybe that's what she was making was pictures. That might make more sense. All right, so somebody please tell me, what is this? What is this unit here? I've never seen it before. It's on a stick. Please tell me. Dispose a scoop. So it's a dog poop scoop. <laughs> the old dog poop and scoop. Let's see, and more fabrics. More. More sewing machines. All these fabrics and stuff here, right? They're all cut to the same size. Maybe she was making pants. Maybe she's making a little bit of everything. Now I see something down here. Let me reach for it. I'm going to cover up this side. Now that's a... Uh, a war shack picture, right? You're supposed to tell the person what you see. Only this one is a a special one. <laughs> All right. Good thing that's kind of clouded over. More bags of fabric. Step stools. Ooh. See what's happening in here. Old tins, things rusted up. Now, there's been a lot of water going through this whole house. Possibly all the windows were broken for a while and just the wind, the water, the snow, the moisture was all coming in freely. All right. So you guys know what happens from here, the basement. Right, my people. So that's where I climbed over before. Look at this. There's a string going through here, tied to that side. So that must have been able to be reached so the lady could close the door. Stairs feel surprisingly strong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me point this out. The railing here. It's just a branch. It's just a really long branch that they cleaned up, sanded down, and used as a railing. I like it. To go with the old, the old supports. Yeah yeah yeah. Man, too bad, that's an old fridge. I won't be able to open it, but is that not cool? Almost looks like he's got a camera. A little wicker dog house. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. That old fridge is really cool. I love all this wooden furniture that they have. That's for a sewing machine. There we go. Just try not to get stuck on anything there. Kick anything. Bunch of boxes. See, like, look at this old phone. Is it that color from being underwater for so long? 
you would think. This string has me curious. And there there's cats. Real old hard hat. Gross. Nothing on it. Chunks of glass. I think my parents had that exact same you dehumidifier or maybe the model after but it's almost identical antique oil finish mini wax starting to got things on my camera water and cobwebs right. a whole lot more stuff in here but it's just the dugout basement. But this is a big basement. Normally, only these basements are tiny. Not dug out all the way. Old umbrella. Water jugs, puzzles, gloves. That old chair. Another old medicine bottle. Again, there's stuff in everything. These aren't bags of garbage. These are these are bags of people's stuff. I don't want to show you guys this. What's that? From April '90, the Canadian Kettle Club. Another certificate. What do we got on this side? Old toaster. Those are amazing. Look at that. The yellow, green, and orange one. And then a green one and an orange one. If they had a yellow one as well. Ooh. Ooh. Wouldn't that be a sexy retro set? Like another old bed type unit. Sorry, I thought I heard... Some sort of an animal squealing, but so my backpack making a weird noise. A couple big old units. A cool old table. Ooh. I want to check those out. So come with me. Look at those old buggers. Aren't those beautiful? Old school. It's got the wood. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, everybody. So you know how it goes when we're in the basement. Instead of doing the walk back, I'm going to take my pictures and pans on the way back. And then I don't even have to go upstairs. I get out right to the warm sun and fresh air. I love you all. Thanks for helping navigate through this bit of a mess of this really cool abandoned explorer. So Static's here taking a few pictures. We're going to try to not get in his way. So again, I'm doing this with my hand. I know it's still going to be pretty damn stable, but i just like to point out, just so you people know. And yes, I said you people, because I love you all. Look at that old leather jacket, eh? That's amazing. Lots of old cool clothes. Cool old thermos. Yeah, definitely a lot of 70s style stuff here. The house. See, that's what we are talking about. Fresh board. I got this fence up here now, which also looks fresh. I don't think this place will be around much longer. The American Kennel Club. That looks like it's her, uh, her little workbook. 
Love dogs. I love them. Love them to death. Well, this is what's going on here. Not too much, but a whole lot. Very cool. Very cool. And the property. The property is beautiful. Once it gets cleaned up. All right. So this is going to be at the end of the video. This time I actually know, so I'm not going to be messing things up. All right, explorers. What do you guys think about this house, eh? Very, very cool. I love it when they're decayed like this. I would have liked it if it was a little bit better condition, but that's the way it falls sometimes. It's still a very cool house. All the things left. The story of the older lady that lived here, got elderly, had to stay on the main floor, loved her dogs. Very cool house. Thank you all for coming. It's summertime now, so there's going to be a lot more exploring going down. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon O'Bannon, and I'll catch you on the next explore. Ciao.